you guys it's your girl tomorrow gi we are back with another video if you are new to my channel welcome you are now a gi baby so let's go ahead and get into this video i rarely did a lot of get ready with me so i think i wanted to do it again i was just feeling like get ready with me today like I, that's how i was feeling so i was like okay let me turn on the camera and we're about to get ready today i'm basically going to show you guys like i'm gonna do my hair how i do my natural makeup and i'm gonna show you guys my outfit and my fragrance and everything so let's just hurry up and get into it Okay. this makeup look that i'm doing is just like a literally like let me get ready real quick and go like we not even gonna use no foundation today i either go between the urban decay all night ultra glow or the Morph morphe continuous setting spray so these are the two setting sprays that i go between first before i set my face with the setting spray i like to use my milk hydro grip primer and i've had this primer for a while and it's almost gone so a little on my face Y'all, don't ask me why I do this. I just feel like it works for me. <laughs> That's what I feel. And I feel like it works for me like this because I'm using majority powder. So I feel like that it just gives me like a good base to work with. And I've already moisturized my face. My face is freshly washed and moisturized before I even get all of this. For my eyebrow pencil, I absolutely positively love, love, love this eyebrow pencil. This is by Benefit Cosmetics, the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love this brow pencil so much. So what we're gonna do is just go over our brows and just line, outline it. Q-tip so we could just go ahead and fix what we need to fix. So there's a lot of concealers that I like going between. I really love my Born This Way concealer. I love, love, love this by uh, Too Faced. These are my go-to concealers. I'm loving this concealer by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Magic Touch. I love this concealer. It's giving me life. Oh, LA Girl concealer gonna get you right regardless. This is what I started on and this is what I still use periodically. I'm gonna take a little bit of the LA Girl because I don't want it to be too, too light. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the Anastasia, because this has like a, like a little darker, a little bit more of a darker shade in there. And then I'm gonna take just a little pinch of the Warm Sand, because that's like a way lighter color than everything else. As you guys can see, the color is like, it's way lighter. So just mix it up with my brush, mix my colors up. I just like to take my LA Girl Concealer and Fawn. We're not trying to make anything too lighter, too darker. We're just trying to conceal some areas. Kind of like give a slick full face like we put foundation on, but we didn't. So.
just going to take my Huda Beauty Contour Bronze Cream. And I love this Contour Bronze Cream. It is in Jade Medium. I like to take a little on my chin area like this. So now we're about to get our powder started. So I like to first go in with my um, soft matte powder foundation, my Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation by Fenty Beauty. And this is in the shade 360. And I just love this shade for right after I get done doing my concealer. Just put it under your eyes. It just really gives you that snatch type look. Just blend everything out. Take my Morphe Glam's Bronze and Trailblazer. Just. Start more of that bronze process going. Now I like to take my one size um, turn up the base foundation powder in the color dark one. And this is what it looks like. And then this has, it's not even that dark, but I like to do that first for my cheeks because I feel like this foundation powder, it just conceals a lot of everything so I start with this powder first to get my base going then I like to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way powder in the color Chai do the same thing that we just did and this is like a darker powder so I just keep it at the right here because you want to kind of make it look like you do have on like makeup makeup but you don't Y'all see how it's like, I had some dark spots right here and the dark spots are like minimized because of this. I take my other Fenty powder in 380 and I'm gonna go over my same areas. This is more of a deeper powder. It's not as light. Absolutely love this powder like absolutely love it because it gives me like the right light that I want And while my setting powder is, my setting spray is setting, I like to do the KKW Beauty in Nude 3. I love this lip liner, it is so cute. When I'm not trying to do black, I like to do this one. We're going. Got this from the beauty supply store, and it's a very. Let me tell y'all something. The beauty supply store has bomb, bomb highlighters. Like, you can get the most expensive highlighter from Sephora, and that don't be trash. Like. Y'all see that?
for our lips, we're just gonna go in with the color um, Fortune Cookie and Madeline. I like to use these two just a little bit. Fortune, Madeline is like more of your lip color. And Fortune Cookie is like a little tad bit lighter. I just like to take my lip gloss by Morphe, declassified lip oil, and then go ahead and put that over. So now, now we gotta do this hair. I'm really not even sure what all I want to do with my hair. I think I know what clothes I'm wearing because it's cold outside and I'm not going nowhere for real. Like I'm just going to my mom's house real quick. But I do got some other places to go. So y'all see my little edges just looking crazy, but we're taking our hair out these flexi rods. I don't even put a lot of flexi rods in my hair. This is about like four or five or six flexi rods. I can't wait till my hair gets like super big and I can just wear it like, like big, like, what's up? Okay. Cause now I'm really trying to see how I want to wear it like. I think I kind of know how I want to wear my hair now. I think I want to wear it in like a kitty type way since I still have these curls. I don't want to just put it all up in a, a bun.
Who? Okay, so now we're getting somewhere with this hairstyle. This is gonna be really, really cute. Since we just did our edges, what I like to do to seal my edges to make sure that nothing moves, nothing looks crazy, because everybody knows edge control is not gonna hold just alone. So I take a little bit of got to be, a little bit of the got to be, and just go over exactly where I have put my stuff. I don't know if I want to keep it like this or not. Hmm. All right, I'm about to go change this to my clothes and then we can solidify how we're going to keep this hairstyle. Okay, so I decided how I wanted to wear it. I still have to like get it together for real because it's not like how exactly how I want to wear it. But I just have on my I Heart Girls hoodie with the bottoms. I'm going to show you guys like the full, full thing. But I'm trying to decide. I'm putting my socks on, but. <laughs> Okay, that was embarrassing. I'm trying to decide what shoes I want to wear with it. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So I got my Dunks or my Fours, but I think the Fours look a little better with it. What y'all think? Dunks or Fours? I think it's the Fours. Yeah, I think the Fours match a little better. So I'm gonna keep the Fours on. I got my bags. Now we gotta decide what bag. Now we gotta decide what bag we wanna wear. Okay, so I got this bag. Give them my cool. But I think this is cute, kind of. Cause it got a red in it. Cause I got this bag. This bag is definitely not gonna go. But it's my cute Steve Madden bag. I love it. This bag is really cute, but I just feel like it's not giving the vibes. And then this is my little guest bag. But I feel like that bag is like too brown. And I want something that's kind of like gonna pop. Yeah, we gonna go with this one. It look like it kind of don't match, but when I'm looking in the mirror, like if I take a picture, like it don't look too bad. So yeah, when I look in the mirror, yeah, it don't look too bad with it. Eh. Yeah, it don't look too, too bad. I love this perfume so much. So. Go ahead and spray. Ooh. I'm kind of gonna tease it a bit. Y'all see, I'm just teasing like the bottom, not the top, because I don't want it to be like too, too, you know? I still want it to look a little silky. I'm just gonna spray some hairspray in my hair so that these curls can stay, but I am loving it. Like, 
This looks so cute. I ain't put my hair on no bun. All right, so this is the finished look. This is how we're leaving the house. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting ready. And if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you guys comment down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed. GI babies, we out.